Hey you, yeah I'm talking to you. I just thought I'd stop you today to thank you for watching the video and make sure you watch till the end of the video for a cookie. All my homies said that you're a lame bitch. Talk shit on IG, say it to my face bitch. Blow up on YouTube and you Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy XE. Welcome back to another video. So, you know, it's been a while. It's been about a week now and, you know, I don't really have an explanation for that. I just thought I'd take a week to myself. I had some school to catch up on and, you know, just I just did my thing for about a week. But yeah, dude, your boy XE is back with another banger video. But yeah, dude, I'm actually gonna try and get back to uploading on a normal basis, so just uh, stick with me. Stay tuned, you know. But yeah, dude, the topic we're gonna be talking about today is actually quite a serious topic. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's quite career-ending, you know what I mean? And I mean, I almost don't like talking about some of these subjects like I enjoy commentating and all that but I don't like talking about these career ending subjects because like my call me Carson video blew the hell up and some of you guys think that I hate call me Carson like no I don't hate any of the people that I talk about in these videos so I mean the person we're gonna be talking about today is only Jayus you've probably seen her on TikTok but I'm gonna be honest she has been in a lot of drama lately the first thing that really sparked all of this was her kill all men video where basically she explained that whenever they say kill all men it doesn't mean all guys now of course I don't really care where you stand on the subject like i'm not gonna hold you against your beliefs but if you're gonna say kill all men emphasis on all and then say not all men then that just doesn't make any sense because all means literally everything of what you're talking about but i mean with that out of the way let's go ahead and look at our kill all men tiktok but god nothing gets on my fucking nerves more than when women talk about how they're scared of men you know scared of being raped kidnapped or murdered okay and then boys are like mm, but not all men no shit kyle god dude i just hate seeing her freaking whine on a mirror for 15 seconds so, like some of those arguments are valid like being raped being murdered those are all valid arguments towards men but not all men do that so yeah i'm 100 doing what she said not to do in the video but i mean it's because it's correct not every single man is a rapist or a murderer and you got to get that through your head and of course i'm not trying to take away from the people who have had traumatic experiences with guys and for those guys that have put you through that trauma i hope the worst for them i'm not trying to take away from that so yeah that's what our friend only js had done originally and you know that's not really that bad i mean she's speaking about what she believes right everyone's entitled to do that but you know what not everybody's entitled to doing saying the n-word that's right dude she has been exposed for saying the n-word about a week after all this kill all men stuff happened like when i said this is some career ending stuff i meant it because holy crap dude and you know as of right now i don't think it's the right landscape on the internet to be exposed for saying the n-word like this generation is a type of generation to get mad at somebody saying a word that starts with r and ends in etard like seriously dude but i mean regardless everybody was flipping their shit in her comments it was funny as hell so yeah let's just go ahead and take a look at the screenshots So yeah, dude, as you can see here, she was caught in 4K. Screw that 8K. Actually, you know what? 16K, dude. You know, I'm being dead serious. I don't even know if 16K actually exists. But yeah, dude, you get my point. She has been caught red-handed. She tried to blame it on Photoshop, and uh, I'm gonna be honest. I know how to use Photoshop pretty well, and you can't really Photoshop a video. Like, that was a screen recording. But I mean, regardless, though, there really is no explanation or justification that you can give to say that it was okay that she was saying the N-word. Like, no. Like, everybody will have their slip-ups, but dude, this was over text. She typed it out with her two fingers and i mean at the time which was in 2016 she was actually a senior in high school and i think by being a senior in high school you should know how your words have effect on people and i mean one of the things she said in her apology which i'll play later was that she was trying to say the meanest thing and it doesn't really matter if you're trying to say the meanest thing possible it's still just absolutely screwed up and there's a whole history behind this terrible word so i mean by being a senior in high school and actually typing out the word into a message like not just slipping up while saying it i think you know it was intentional and that she definitely needs to account for her actions Speaking of accounting for things, she actually made an apology like around a week after all this exposing stuff happened, which I'm just gonna be honest, that's like a long ass time. Like, I kid you not, dude, I don't think it would take me that long to come up with a minute and a half apology that you're just gonna post on TikTok. I mean, take the time you need, but her comment section was filled with address it. Like, every single video just with address it comments. But yeah, dude, so she finally has addressed it, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. In my past, I said disgusting things to people, and I am so ashamed of myself for using racist 
racist rhetoric and derogatory language to hurt others. Because I knew what that word meant and I understood the power behind it, but I said it anyway because it was the meanest thing that I could think of. And I am so sorry to everyone, but especially to those in the black community because only you guys can forgive me for this. And there is no excuse and there are no justifications for what I said. And you guys deserve better. And when I first saw the screenshots, I didn't even think that they were real because I forgot how hateful and how angry of a person I used to be. And it hurts my soul knowing that I said those things. But the screenshots and the things I've said in my past are not a reflection of who I am today. And I'm so grateful for the people in my life that I met after high school, in college, at my previous jobs, and on TikTok who took their time to educate me on their experiences because listening to them was so powerful and a real reality check for me. So I wanna take this time to take a step back and share my platform with some amazing black creators who are going to tell their story to try and educate others on the trauma that happens when we use this kind of language. I know that my words hurt people and I know that my words have consequences and that there is no immediate fix for my actions but I am so deeply sorry for all the pain that I've caused. Hey yo, only J is how much was the makeup? Nah, but seriously, man, it's not that dramatic. You don't have to put on makeup to make it seem like you were crying. It's not that serious. I'd rather just have the straight up apology with none of this BS. Not to mention that her apology was scripted and it was still kind of dog shit. Like, of course, her accounting for her actions is, you know, that's a good thing. That's what every creator should do if they were in this situation. But I don't really understand why she's trying to share her platform with a bunch of other black creators. Like, I don't really see where that's needed. It almost feels like she's trying to get on the black community's side by using these black creators to hopefully get them to forgive her for using the n-word but i think the way that she's going at it isn't really the right way to go like she apologized and i mean there's really not much else she could do at that point like wait out the drama let it die down a little bit before starting to post again but i mean hey do what you got to do right of course i'm not trying to take away from racism that has happened in the past and racism that is still happening currently it just sort of gives the illusion that she's trying to use these creators so i think a combination of her taking a week to respond to what she originally got canceled for and just having a not so good Good apology is really not working out too well for her but i mean with this situation just completely exploding after her apology has been released we had a bunch of commentators actually make videos on her and this includes me too i actually made a video over on tiktok but one of my friends sid commentary had his main account banned off of tiktok after making an only js video both me sid and the rest of commentary club are all confused about why he got banned because he had no community guidelines violations in the past month and what's even more fishy is that sid actually got banned three hours after having a conversation with only JS. And I actually have the screenshots from those conversations, so let's just go ahead and take a look at that. When's the apology coming out? As soon as I get the okay from my managers. If it was up to me, I would have apologized on day one, but I'm tied to contracts right now. It's out of my control at this point. They have the video. I have it in my drafts. I just need the okay. So I guess it's good to hear that it wasn't intentional for only Jace to take so long in the apology, but let's continue with the conversation. All right, great. Do you mind if I make a video on the update of your apology? I'm hoping for today though. I can't have this guilt and anxiety any longer. There's been lots of speculation that you're not making effort to do the apology. So do you mind if I make a video clearing the air? Again, I would prefer not to just because I'm not allowed to be talking to people right now. And if management see it, they have every right to fire me. Maybe just talk about our conversation, but man, it's up to you. You don't have to listen to me. So around three hours after that conversation happened, Sid got banned off of TikTok. And I mean, don't you think it's kind of fishy that Sid gets banned after only JS tells us that she could be fired by management? I mean, we had information that could end her entire career, whether it be Netflix, YouTube, TikTok. So wouldn't it make sense for her to try and end anybody who has information like that? I don't know, man. More or less, it just makes sense. But yeah, we're going to see where this situation goes. I'm going to go ahead and make an update video if something else happens regarding only js but yeah make sure you go and follow sid's new account i'll post the at on the screen and i think this is where i'm gonna go ahead and end out the video so yeah if you made it through the entire video here's the cookie that i promised and yeah make sure you leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below but yeah thank you all for watching today i'll catch you all later peace you was in class, I can die looking stupid Being with the rounds in the town, we be shooting I turn around, I'm sitting down like I'm Cupid Shooting, deep in downtown, I'm not open Anything not better than the best is unacceptable Stacking up my chat, I get it, just my money flexible I'm not really what it, when it, when it be a spectacle I feel like I'm better at my destiny at a festival I'm on the chopper, it's talking a lot in the drama, drumming Popping a bottle, I'm popping, I talk, keep it running, running